After over a year of waiting for a new CSGO operation, finally, on November 18th, Valve announces Operation Shattered Web. Along with this comes a plethora of brand new collections. These include the Norse Collection, St. Mark Collection, the Canals Collection, and the Shattered Web Collection. With these come brand new skins and a collection of brand new knives. These knives are the Paracord Knife, Survival Knife, Nomad Knife, and Skeleton Knife. Also, Brand new to CSGO is a $15 battle pass. It seems that they are jumping on the bandwagon and including this upgradable pass. You level up the bar by completing different missions in Competitive, Danger Zone, Casual, and Wingman. You'll level up the pass like you, you've done in all other games with battle passes and receive graffiti, cases, skins, and badges. Additionally, how could we not mention the brand new maps? Lunacy, a War Games exclusive, Studio, a great map that we reviewed earlier, and a brand new Danger Zone map, Jungle. Also another strange feature they added are new player models, cheers, and voice lines. Though I don't know exactly how well this fits into a game like Go, it's good to see funner features in the game like this. Now according to the FAQs, you can continue earning stars even after you've completed the pass. This seemingly limitless value you can get on the pass seems to be something they want to push as it is a $15 pass. In quote, there's no limit to the number of times you can cycle through the track. Even if you've earned up to the 100 stars by completing missions, you could continue to earn rewards by purchasing stars, which is nice to see if you get that far. For quality of life changes, the SG, or otherwise known as the Krieg, has been increased in price to $3,000. Finally, a change of pace for the powerful weapon. I'm sure people will continue to buy regardless, but the price should hinder some of this early round SG buys. Also, cash has now been officially added into the competitive map pool. Zoo and Seaside are now out. This is quite the overwhelming update, with a completely new system from previous operations. Sadly, only adding one real map to the game, which is DE Studio. Which, it is a great map, but usually you'd expect to see a bundle of different community maps, not just three in total, including wargame maps. But regardless, it has been a long time coming, and in the next few days we'll know if it's worth the hype. We will be making more videos about the operation shortly. Let me know below what you think of the CSGO Battle Pass and if you're going to get it. Thank you for watching as usual, and please make sure to hit the notification bell for more CSGO and video game related content. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next week.